Hello everyone, welcome back to Sports Stuff. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. The NFL has released their Color Rush uniforms and they're pretty impressive. I mean, look at them. They're, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see these in action. They're all pretty cool. Um, a couple of my favorites are the Seahawks ones are pretty cool and uh, the Rams ones are pretty cool. The Niner ones are pretty badass too. The black with the red, I like that combo. I would probably buy these uniforms if I had the money. <laughs> but we have a couple other NFL stories. First, the NFL has announced that they're going to commit $100 million into player safety, specifically towards concussions. They're going to spend $60 million trying to build better helmets for the players so that they are at less risk for head injury. And the other $40 million is going to go towards research towards concussions and brain damage. Roger Goodell said it builds on what we've done over the past few years. There are still things for us to do to make it safer for our players and to make it better for our players. I think this is great. Players seem to be more at risk for injury, especially now because players are becoming stronger and faster and bigger. And we're more likely to see harder collisions and harder hits and harder tackles and harder hits to the head and things like that. I'm glad to see that Roger Goodell and the NFL are making a push to make this game safer because we've started to see a trend of players retiring early for the sake of their health. Also, two Broncos were fined after their game against the Carolina Panthers after some pretty hard hits to the head to Cam Newton. Linebacker Brandon Marshall was fined $24,309, and safety Darian Stewart was fined $18,231. Forbes has released the valuations of each NFL team, and the list is pretty shocking. The Dallas Cowboys are the most valuable team at $4.2 billion. The Patriots are second at $3.4 billion, the Giants at $3.1, and then the Niners at $3 billion, and the Redskins top off the top five with as they are worth $2.95 billion. But the Rams made a surprising jump from last year. Last year they were valued as the 28th highest team in the NFL. Now they are worth three billion, almost $3 billion, and they are ranked sixth in valuations. Your bottom four teams are, in order, the Saints, the Bengals, the Lions, and the Bills. And the Bills are worth about $1.5 billion. And still related to the NFL, Stephen Curry has said that he would most likely stand up for the national anthem. This is in response to his comments earlier about Colin Kaepernick, where he said that he does stand with and support Colin Kaepernick's message. Curry said, I've been a part of certain conversations off the grid, finding different ways to make our community better, especially for African Americans. That's not the way I'll do it, but I support him for it in his attempt to start the conversation or continue the conversation. He also said, you just have to be true to yourself and understands both sides of the equation and be okay with the consequences, like Colin is. My approach is not going to please everyone, and that's what America is about. Some people agree with Colin, some don't, but the common thread is that there is change that needs to be made. I applaud Curry for this. Curry is going to take a stand, but he's not going to do it the same way Kaepernick did, and I don't think he should do it the same way Kaepernick did. Uh, the NBA already is pretty active and, and pretty vocal in the need for change. Of course, earlier, about a week ago, we talked about the Black Lives Matter movement and how the NBA responded to things like Eric Gardner when he was choked out in New York. So the NBA is already pretty vocal and, and very active. I'm sure no matter what, Curry will look to be respectful, but loud in his cry for help for a better community. That's it for today's stuff on sports. What do you guys think about the NFL color rush uniforms? I really like them a lot. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think are your favorites. Let me know in the comments below. But other than that, my name is Paul Cisneros, and this has been Sports Stuff.